Hey guys, welcome back. So today I have a video that I had to make because somehow I have stumbled upon the best mascara that I have ever tried. Um, that's a huge claim, but I can state that claim because I have tried enough mascaras that I feel I have a pretty good grasp on what I like in a mascara, what a mascara should do, what a mascara should not do. And so I have found this mascara. I want to start off by kind of explaining to you the product. First of all, this is not an inexpensive mascara. I am definitely one to spend a little bit of money on a mascara if it does what I need it to do. I don't like mascaras that um, weigh my lashes down, that do not give them the volume and the, uh, the fluttery look that I like. I don't like the mascara to be too wet or too dry. I don't want it to flake off. I typically don't like waterproof mascaras because they're difficult to get off. However, this one is not. Um, let me also state my lash type. I have very short, straight lashes, so they need lots of length and lots of volume. I really like a mascara to pull my lashes, curl them up, give them the length, but yet also give them some thickness. I just, I'm not a person that was born with amazing lashes, which is why I typically wear false lashes all the time. I've spent a lot of money on false lashes. I do wear them often, but this mascara, makes me feel and look like I have on false lashes, and I do not. And I feel comfortable in my own skin uh, without them, and that's a rarity. So the mascara I'm referring to is the By Terry Mascara Terribly Waterproof Version. Now, I originally was on the hunt for some sort of waterproof mascara for the summertime. However, this waterproof mascara, um, and I put that in air quotes because I don't categorize this waterproof mascara with others that I have tried uh, for the main reason being other waterproof mascaras I've tried are incredibly difficult to get off. Um, they stay on for days even if you like scrub and tug and I don't at my age I don't want to scrub and tug at my eyes anymore. I did that enough when I was younger and it's just not a good idea. I mean the skin is thin. I don't want premature wrinkles any more than I already have kind of thing. Um, uh, wa other waterproof mascaras are clumpy. They're clumpy and they're hard and they're crispy and they just make your lashes look unappealing. You know, I want soft, long, fluttery lashes like what a false lash does to my eye. I want that in a mascara. This mascara is $48 and I know some of you just cringed right now, but this is not just a mascara. This is also a lash serum. So the developer, her name is Terry, her whole like concept for her line of makeup is to mix and marry makeup with anti-aging benefits so that her makeup isn't just makeup it, you're getting a benefit out of it you're getting something more than just a mascara you're getting something more from her than just something you can pick up at Walgreens and that is why this comes with a heftier price tag this is a tinted lash serum as well as a mascara so that price tag is including that so you're paying for both now you're like, well, why would you pay that much and then not, like when you're not using it, the results don't stay. Not true. Another reason I love this mascara is the fact that when I take off my mascara at night and I've taken this off using a waterproof makeup remover, I've taken it off with the uh, Garnier Micellar Water Cleansing Water, put it on a cotton round, both of those products, stick it on my eye and just... I just kind of like let it sit there and move it around just a little bit to get the product at the base of my lashes and it just comes right off. No problem. Um, I was shocked by that because truly every other waterproof mascara I've tried, I have to tug at my lashes so much to get it off and I just feel like you should not be doing that. This mascara is also made with collagen and hyaluronic acid which makes it give your lashes a soft, silky, fluttery, like my lashes right now are not crispy. They look fluttery, they look very just what I want in a mascara. They're just not crispy, they're not clumped together. I just love how they don't feel hard, just very soft. This mascara has curving and volumizing properties to it. It's made with polymers, and polymers, the best example I can give to you of that is like how a Band-Aid would stick to your skin. Um, this has the same concept to get the uh, mascara to stick to your lashes. It has uh, extra fine black pigments in the mascara. It is very, very black. In fact, I find I don't even need to do as many coats as they recommend. They recommend three coats, but as you'll see in the demo, I'm able to get really good length and really good volume in about two coats. So here's what the wand looks like. It is just your very 
typical mascara wand. No bells and whistles here. It has, um, you know, just your typical mascara wand. There's the little teeth on it, but it's not rubber. It's just that natural uh, bristled brush. What I like about this mascara is that when you pull it out of the tube, you don't get a gloppy, icky mess. I know right off the bat if I'm going to hate the mascara when I go to open it the first time and there's product all over the wand. I know that it's, first of all, it's taking out too much product. It's going to apply too much product. It's going to go bad quickly because all of it is coming out when you take it out every single time. This does not take out too much product, which for me is a very huge plus. Every time I apply this mascara, I am so blown away by how much curl and length you initially get with just one coat. Now, they recommend three coats, but I've been feeling like, man, two coats is where it's at. You could add more if you wanted to really go big, but you very quickly get the volume and the length built up in no time. The formula is wet, but it's not too wet where it really can't curl your lashes. It does not weigh my lashes down. It's just wet enough that it lifts them up where they need to be. It's not dry either and it, I don't love a super dry mascara initially because that means it's going to be flaky quicker and it, I've had issues with uh, mascaras flaking into my eyes. I do not wear contacts but that is still annoying to have mascara falling into your eye. My lashes are not crunchy. They just look full and voluminous. Basically the fact that my lashes stay curled after I remove the mascara I've noticed my lashes are longer, they're fuller, they're more voluminous, and because I wear a lot of false lashes, I tend to lose my lashes when I'm pulling off my, you know, the false lashes from applying the glue to your lashes all the time. You have to like pick it off and everything, and I have noticed that my lashes are getting more sparse, so I thought, you know, maybe I should try something that is more than just a mascara. So. I'm going to continue to use this until it is completely gone and I can already notice a difference in the uh, growth of my lashes. I can already notice they're looking longer and fuller so I'm super excited to use this long term. Like I think you should probably use something like this for maybe six months or even longer to really see how, not, not the same tube, I mean like repurchase it and use it even longer. Now, if you were going to be doing a lash serum anyways, you're going to spend way more than $48 on a single tube of lash serum. I've had it in the past. It is very spendy. And um, I just think something like this is so much better because it's, it's a two-in-one. You don't have to buy a mascara and a lash serum. You know what I'm saying? This is great stuff, guys. The, the tube is even really beautiful. So... I think that's all that I had to share with you about this. Let me know your thoughts if you've tried this or what are your best mascaras you've ever stumbled upon. Leave those in the comments below because I'm sure everyone's going to want to read and see. what. Because everyone's lashes are different. Everyone's looking for different things. But if you're looking for a serum, long, voluminous, curled lashes and a waterproof formula that does not flake, smudge, fall off, go anywhere it's not supposed to be, Truly try this by Terribly Mascara Terribly in the Waterproof because it has blown my booties off. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you are new, I hope you subscribe, like this video, thumbs up, whatever. Stay a while. We have so much fun here. Also, another thing, um, let me know down in the comments if there's any newer products that are out now or coming out that you want me to get my hands on and do a review for you guys because um, I am all about that. So I hope you guys have a fabulous day and I will chit chat with you guys this weekend, tomorrow, and Saturday. Bye guys.